Hey, what's up everybody? Tony LeBlanc here from The Doorpreneur. Welcome to another edition of some Monday.com training. And on today's episode, I am going to go through the claims component of, let's say, the tenant journey. So once a tenant moves out of one of our units or almost out of any different apartment or rental, there's a conversation that takes place around the security deposit. Are there any damages? Do you keep the security deposit? Do you make a claim against the security deposit? What if the damages in the property are more than the security deposit? And all sorts of interesting things can happen, as we all know as property managers. So what we've done here is we've created this board inside Monday that helps us track all of these details on a monthly basis and has really provided us a, a, a lot of context and again, a lot of automations around some of the decision making that's being done around this stuff. Um, so I'm going to go through the board. I'm not going to take too long to go through this, but I think you guys will be able to get a feel of you know the power in terms of what you could do with all this information. And hopefully, it'll be a value uh, of you, or your property management company, and uh, you know put some good processes in place. So the board. So what we do is we, we do new sections uh, on a monthly basis. So every month we go in and we manually create a new section. So the first section is going to be the property address. We got the entry dates as to when these are created. Um, tenancy number. This is, um, this is information that we have where I live. Our security deposits, we don't hold them. It's actually a government body that holds them and they give us what's called this tenancy number. So whenever we register the security deposit with them, they hold it in trust and they give us kind of a receipt. So we like tracking the tenancy number. And then I'm going to put the tenant's name, email, um, a next column I'm going to do. This is really when we start getting into the claims process. So Picture you're in a situation to where your tenants just moved out. You've had your inspector. They've gone on site. They've done the inspection and they've handed in the paperwork for the office to be able to review and decide what's going to happen, calculate all the different details and the costs associated uh, to getting the turnover done up. So in this section, I got my back end office manager that's reading the report and then she's going to go in here and items claimed and then she's going to start putting in all the details in terms of what we're going to be claiming. Um, it could be unpaid rent, cleaning of unit, supplies, garbage, maybe we had to go mow the lawn, you know, whatever the case may be. It's, inf it's important that you write this information clearly and very simple because the tenant essentially is going to be able to get it. They're going to read this in, in another part that I'm going to show you in a minute. So have everything documented there. The next section is unpaid rent. So when the tenant moved out, did they have any unpaid rents due? If they did, you put it in here. Cleaning and maintenance. So this is where you calculate the total amount of the damages in the property. So cleaning, maintenance, garbage removal, lawn care, snow removal, whatever. Add it all up, put it in this column. And then we have another column, a formula column, that's going to add up these two. And it's going to give me what the full claim is for. Okay. Next column is we put in what their security deposit is. So we're going to go check their lease, check their documentation, and we're going to put actually what we're holding in trust for a deposit. Um, reference number I'm going to skip. That's just an internal document. Um, ACA to claim. So this is, for us, this means collections agency. So our protocol is if a tenant has done more damage or owes more money than their security deposit, we just simply send them the collections. So this column, column will automatically calculate uh, the difference between the full claim amount and what the actual security deposit is. So then I can very clearly see, okay, this is what I got to go send the collections after, you know, after a certain period of time. So the power in this board comes in with this little status column. So e email tenant. So the choices are yes, no, and working on it. So when I set this to yes, what happens is this triggers an automation. 
it creates an email that gets sent to the tenant. And I'm going to go into my automations field. And so when email tenant changes to yes, send email. So I'm going to show you the email that we send. So Mr. and Mrs. Smith, we just finished processing your move out inspection and concluded that we'll be, we will be making a claim against your security deposit for the following items. So this is where we plunk in that column information about what was damaged in the property and what we're claiming. The claim comprises of the following amounts. Unpaid rent, so we can put in the unpaid rent. Maintenance and cleaning, I put how much they owe in cleaning. Below is a link to some pictures and the actual move out report that was done on the unit. So again, we want to eliminate any going back and forth about, you know, oh, the place was clean or this or that. Like we're, we're sending you all the exact records of what we took when the property was vacated. And you can even put the move in inspection if you want as well to say, okay, this is what it looked like when we gave it to you. And this is now what it looks like when you've given it back to us. So here we just have the fillers um, for the different data columns that we have in Monday. So should your security deposit of, and we put the amount, be insufficient to cover the claim amount above, please be advised that the balance will be sent to collections. We strongly recommend that you do, that basically that you try to avoid this and get in touch with us so that we can try to you know, discuss or settle on this matter. Um, it's, it, it never ceases to amaze me whenever we set this column to yes, how quickly people call us to email us back to say, oh, it's like, oh, you know, I, I don't want to go to collections and, you know, everything's good and, you know, how do I settle this? So it's been super helpful. Um, so that's that's a great field. Then we then we track basically what we recover. So SD recovery, once we get some money, we'll put it in here that we've recovered it. Um, ACA recovery, so that's if we've received monies from the collections agency. And then here I got a few other columns that I can actually show them I can actually upload the copy of the Z inspector um, inspection report um, and I've also got pictures these are pictures this action this was one of our move outs at some point um, where we had to go in and do a bunch of landscaping so these are all things that you can send to them and say listen this is what the place looked like so we have a few different other automations um, we have one here released yes or no so Sometimes when a tenant moves out, there is no claim. So that's where we release the security deposit. Say, yep, you left the property in great condition. We'll even send them an email automation to thank them for you know taking great care of the property and we appreciate them leaving um, the property in good repair and good status. And to kind of even take it up another level, um, we actually put a link to our Google Google page to be able to get them to put a review. You know, if they left it in good condition, hopefully they had a great experience with us. Um, and we try to get those, you know, those kinds of details in our Google page or Facebook or wherever you want to send them. We've stopped using Facebook reviews. Uh, Google, I don't mind sending them over there because I think they're still valid, but Facebook just ends up being uh, kind of a nightmare to try to manage that whole process. So this is a quick view of how we deal with our claims. It is a, an amazing workflow that we've built. It works and it's done wonders. We've been able to recover money quicker than ever before. So, and that's, that's really what we wanted, right? So we were sometimes seeing claims take two, three, four, five months before we actually recovered any money. And of course, our owners are always asking, it's like, okay, we had that place trashed and I still don't see, you know, the money from their security deposit, you know, what's what's going on. So this is a great way to be able to have this stuff top of mind, automate some stuff, make sure everybody's on their toes and to get the money as quickly as possible to our owners because that's, you know, that's that's our responsibility. So um, we've also created a workflow chart to basically show you how to go through this and how to build out this board. Um, if you're interested in, in getting a copy of that, send me an email, tony at doorpreneur.com or simply put a comment uh, in the video below and I'll, I'll, I'll be able to shoot that out to you. So yeah, hopefully this is of value and uh, I hope you enjoy your day. Right, and until next time, cheers guys.